These are asparagus beans and they're very delicious. It's an Asian type bean. And I tell you, when people visit the garden and they see these long, long, long asparagus-like beans hanging from these trellises, they always comment on them. Now, I've had very few problems with these beans, except for some aphids. You tend to find them on the new growth and tips. And since we are all organic here, I try to use beneficial insects in the defense against the bad bugs. And so what I have here is a bag of ladybugs. This is a half a pint, which is sufficient for a greenhouse or a garden up to 2,500 square feet. Now, if you have a little more room you need to cover, like 5,000 square feet, you would need a full pint. If you have 15,000 square feet, you might want to get a quart of these little guys. Now, what's wonderful about these is that you can order them through the mail. Yes, you can get ladybugs shipped to your home, an entire army of them to take on pests in the garden. You see, they love soft-bodied insects, particularly aphids. So any little small soft-bodied insect they tend to munch on. Now, I don't have a huge infestation here, so what I'm going to do is just let a few of these out at a time. It's best to let them out at night and we'll release these over the course of two weeks. That's about how long you can keep them in the refrigerator. When they arrive, just take them and put them in the fridge. That keeps them inactive, and you don't want the refrigerator to be so cold that it would freeze them, because they'll die. Now, if you want to keep a few beneficial insects around, it's important to learn a little bit about their life cycle. You want to learn to identify them. For instance, we have a healthy population of ladybugs here already, and you can see that I've got little larvae walking along here. I can see them. They look like little red alligators. That is a young lady beetle. Whether it's lady beetle or ladybug, it's the same. And one of the things you'll want to keep in mind is you don't want to spray pesticides in your garden because they will kill not only the bad bugs, but good bugs such as these. Keep this in mind. A ladybug in its brief lifetime will eat up to 5,000 aphids. Now just think about that. Come on, come on back here. Here's some feed. Come on. These sheep love to be fed, and I actually think they may be a little too fat, but I can't resist coming down here and feeding them because they're so much fun to be around. Now, here's an interesting tip about sheep. Did you know that President Woodrow Wilson, during World War I, put sheep on the lawn of the White House? Yeah, he did it so he could support the Red Cross. The idea was that the wool would be cut from the sheep and blankets could be made and so forth. A wonderful gesture. Now, these are sheep that are from South Africa. They're called white dorpers and they're not raised for their wool. I have them here because I love seeing them in the pasture. I just love having lots of animals around and they're great for keeping the pastures mowed down. They're, they're, each one of them is its own little lawnmower. And talk about adorable. The babies, well, no one can resist these little lambs. They are so precious. So they make wonderful little pets, only temporarily. We don't take them away from their mothers but it's fun to get out here and hold them and play with them and the children love them. Now, if you decide to keep a few sheep, you need to be aware that predators can attack them and take particularly the lambs. So that's why here we have Moose. He's been deputized as our number one coyote officer and he makes sure that the coyotes stay away from these ewes and their lambs. It's a great relationship.